Welcome to the NC Spin After Spin. Additional comments from our panelists just available on our website. Chris Fitzsimon, what do you wish you had said on last week's show, but you didn't? Well, one of the we talked about renewable energy on the show and the battle over uh, uh, solar power. We didn't mention it, but there's a, a, always a, a battle when wind power is wind mentioned. Power, but yeah. one of the interesting things in some other states where I've been uh, not too long in the decent, recent past is there's a libertarian streak in the solar uh, community that you don't hear much about. There are some people now who are believing uh, that they should be able to put solar panels on their house, do their own, ener that do their own energy. It shouldn't cost more. I think that, that the traditional... Um, left-right break on renewable energy will be changing as technology continues to develop and we see more people sort of using it as an, as an individual right to access their own energy and power their own home without a monopoly power company having so much say over their lives. But okay, with, with this libertarian streak, Will the power companies be required to buy well, their that's energy? That's a good question. Or will they? Will the, some of the folks believe that we're already helping and subsidizing the power companies in the way we treat them, and that they, if there's really an equal playing field, the big fear by the power companies is that uh, it's not going to happen soon. But then, so, in some time in the future, everybody will be able to power their own homes without using a major power company. We didn't mention it, but that is one of the concerns about right, solar absolutely. power, is that the, the average rate payer is subsidizing these solar companies. Right. Well, and the other way around is that, the, that you know, the power companies are worried that if everybody can power their own homes without them, what's their future? Interesting. Well, thanks for watching the After Spin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.